It's the Atlanta Grubber Podcast with surefire restaurant reviews from throughout the Atlanta metropolitan area. Hosted by Joe Duffy, there is a special focus on his home chomping grounds of Alpharetta and Roswell. You can follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at Atlanta Grubber and on atlantagrubber.com. Without further ado, here is your infallible restaurant whisperer, Joe Duffy. Here we are with episode three. Quite happy with the first uh, couple episodes of downloads. We're brought to you by Duffy Senses in the fragrance, S-C-E-N-T-S. You do get fragrances for fan diffusers, laundry, home, office, and pets. In this episode, the main feature will be O4W Pizza, simply the best pizza in the state. That's in Duluth. We're also going to talk about, you know, I got to humbly confess, I uh, screwed up last episode. We were supposed to have Yeah Burger and Catfish Hawk subtitles. No! Boneheaded editing. Uh, skip them, but I will make sure they are definitely on this podcast. I inadvertently deleted those episodes. We'll definitely talk about that. Keenan's Pit Barbecue from uh, M- Meeting Street Barbecue. Burger Bus. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about Ball Ground, Georgia. Grana on Piedmont Road. The Rotisserie Shop in Kennesaw, Cool Runnings, in Peachtree Quarters, and maybe even more. All right, O4W Pizza, it's at 3177 Main Street in Duluth. It's all part of Parsons Alley, which is really awesome. I love Parsons Alley if you haven't been there. In fact, as recently as today, finally ate at another restaurant there, Sweet Octopus. We'll certainly talk about them in future episodes. Ah, you know, I love Nextdoor uh, for many, many different reasons and kind of for masochistic reasons when they ask about, tell me the best pizza place or the best barbecue and some of the recommendations are terrible. And usually the best recommendations are followed by a confident hands down the best. And if you're familiar with the neighborhoods, the hands down best pizza or whatever is always like a mile or two from where this person lives. But if you eat out a lot and you eat out as often as I do, which no normal person does, but the more you do eat out, and especially when you go to good places, you'll find out there are very few hands down best in any single category. But you could argue when it comes to pizza in the metropolitan area, there might just be a hands-down selection, O4W Pizza, and that's with all due respect to Joe's on Mansell. There's a couple of places with similar names. We're talking about Joe's New York Style Pizza on Mansell, the sister restaurant of Verrazano, which also is not to be confused with Jeff Verrazano's place, but Verrazano as in the bridge. That's maybe our favorite New York place, but O4W Pizza takes it to yet another level. Now, why, where does the name come from? Well, the original location was in Old Fourth Ward. Old Fourth Ward, often abbreviated O4W, is a tight-knit community located on the east side of Atlanta. Well, enough narrator, boy. This is a restaurant podcast, not about neighborhoods. I know Old Fourth Ward is a really cool neighborhood, but we want to talk about its namesake pizzeria. The grandma pie is what made them famous. Now, what is a grandma pie? First of all, it's kind of disputing whether it was originating in North Jersey or some say in Long Island. I'm originally from South Jersey, but again, definitely more from the northern part of the state. So it's not something that I personally grew up on, but it is a tremendous way of making a pizza. It's cooked in a regular oven, or at least historically it is rectangular and in a cast iron pan. And certainly the corner pieces are usually very crispy. Now at O4W, the house-made mozzarella is a big difference maker. It's why it's among the best pizza you will ever have. In fact, it's so flavorful, the grandma pie is, that we generally get it plain. It's their signature pizza, but far from the only style they make, and in fact, they do every single style very well. When it comes to pizza styles, you're probably familiar with New York, Chicago, Neapolitan, Sicilian, maybe even New Haven style. Hey, any of you guys ever hear of Detroit? No. I've kind of gone back and forth as to whether the Detroit style or the um, grandma style is my favorite here. Detroit is definitely my wife's favorite. What is Detroit? You're probably not familiar with it, especially if you live in Atlanta. Weren't too many places that have it, but the Detroit Red Top, it's very similar to Sicilian, uh, where it's got the very light and porous dough. The meat goes on first, followed by the cheese, and then the sauce is added towards the end, hence the term 
red top, but when you eat it, you can see why, yeah, the sauce doesn't really need to go in at the beginning because the sauce is already going to be pre-made and it probably cooks a little bit too much, you could argue, when it comes to New York style. It's put on just in enough time to kind of heat it up and add some great flavor, but it definitely has a little bit different texture because it's not cooked as long on the um, top of a Detroit pizza as it is on the other styles. But it's great, and what I really like about this spongy focaccia-type crust the cheese just kind of melts right into it. It's almost like a cheese crust. And yeah, if you're a sauce fan, you could argue that maybe you'd want that with the uh, the sauce. Put the sauce on first, like the New York style. But I, I love it where the cheese just kind of just goes porously into the, the dough. And, and it's just beyond tremendous. And nobody does it better than O4W. Now, Anthony Spina, the founder of O4W, he did partner in Nina and Rafi. He returned to his old neighborhood on the Beltline. I've been to Nina and Rafi, but whatever happened, Anthony is no longer affiliated with it. So this is his only restaurant. When I did try the Detroit pizza at Nina and Rafi on the Beltline, it was exactly the same pie. So it's fantastic, and I assume that it's still uh, the same recipe they use from at Nina and Rafi that is before Anthony Spina left. But again, the only place that he is currently affiliated with is his O4W pizza. But again, you don't want that? That's okay. He's got a classic round pizza, which is similar to a New York, New Jersey style. In fact, a couple of the pizzas are called New Jersey. There's a Jersey Shore one that has, I think, chicken and onions, and there's a Trenton pie. Although a Trenton pie, I usually associate as one with no cheese. This one does have cheese on it, but whatever. He's got a classic round, and if you're you know more the traditional type, that's probably for you. He does serve hoagies here. They're pretty good. Not really the thing that I would most recommend. Uh, the rice balls are fantastic. Chicken Parmesan. My wife is obsessed with chicken Parmesan, and this is one of her favorites. He does, uh, Anthony uses the Springer Mountain Chicken here. Meatballs, excellent. As uh, one of my city slicker foodies said, look, uh, Spina must have made a deal with the devil to make the pizza so good. It is Probably the best I've had in Georgia. Those of you who might remember the old CK's Grilled Pizza, that was world class as well. And yeah, of course, I've been to the original Antico. And as I said, uh, the Joe's Pizza, even closer to us, still does New York pizza as well as anyone or the sister restaurant, Verrazano. But for very good reason, O4W has made a lot of national lists best pizza in America. It's rare when you don't see O4W on there. And I've been to other places that have been nationally ranked and O4W can definitely hold their own against any of the big boys. And if you Google them, you'll see they've even been written up in some uh, national publications as good as it gets. If you hadn't been to O4W Pizza, go there now. He also has a couple um, different types of pasta. Shovels around the menu a little bit, but there are definitely some very good non-pizza items as well as if, you know, somehow you're with somebody who doesn't like pizza. Is there such a human being? But, you know, I like a little variety, so I like to try some other stuff with the pizza, and there's, there's plenty of uh, great stuff that you can get. O4W Pizza in Duluth, as good as it gets. Sound bites with news and notes from restaurants all over Metro Atlanta coming up. DuffyGifts.com offers the finest My 31 gifts such as purses, jewelry, organizers, storage bins, and so much more. These gifts are perfect for graduates, weddings, and any occasion, whether it's for him or for her. For the most thoughtful gifts, check out Stephanie Duffy at DuffyGifts.com. Now to sound bites with news, notes, and quick hitters on Atlanta area restaurants. In episode one, I talked about some great eats around Georgia Tech. Yeah, Burger's another one that we like. It's at 1168 Hal Mill Road in Atlanta. Now, it is temporarily closed because of uh, this big mess that's going on. Uh, my daughter really loved the place back when she, before she became too cool to go down to Georgia Tech baseball games with me. I particularly love the Bison Burger, which was very good. Uh, something else that you must order there, though. $5 shake. Well, it's actually a $6 shake now, but it comes from High Road Ice Cream, Georgia's own High Road, which edges out Grater's Ice Cream is probably my favorite. Look, my 
Oldest son goes to school at The Ohio State University, and one of the hotels we stay next to is next to a Graders. Graders, if you haven't had it, it is available in this area. You can find it at Publix and Kroger. Not all of them, but you can find it. Really good uh, Midwestern ice cream based out of Ohio, and I got nothing bad to say about it, but I honestly do think George's own High Road ice cream a little bit better makes fantastic shakes, and that's why they're now $6 shakes. Did you just order a $5 shake? Six dollars, but well worth it as a chaser for your real with cheese. Now, if you live um, OTP like I do, yeah, burger reminds me a little bit of Moxie Burger, or would it be the other way around? Moxie Burger is located in East Cobb and Roswell. Uh, Moxie Burger uses lamb instead of buffalo, but the same basic concept, how you order it, and you can kind of make your own toppings and whatnot. And by the way, Moxie Burger also has a pretty good Chicago-style hot dog. I say Chicago-style because... It's not uh, using Vienna hot dog, but still really good a hot dog as well. Catfish Hawks is a really good casual place at 2995 Sandy Plains Road, Suite 101 in Marietta. Um, of course, what are they known for? Duh, catfish. I did get the fried catfish there. was really good. I also noticed on the menu they have added crackling. I don't think that was on the menu when I tried it before. What's cracking, baby? Cracklin is a pork belly deep fried in hog lard, uh, comparable to really bacon uh, or pork rinds. We were driving along the Acaciana part of Louisiana and literally off of every exit you would see a couple signs. Make sure you get your pork cracklins off of this exit. They're usually sold on the roadside, even in gas stations. Really good addictive stuff. I'm going to have to go back to Catfish Hawks and see if there's this Every bit as good as what I had in Louisiana, which is tough to do. The day I went in, they had boudin as a special, and it was really good. It's a Louisiana-type uh, sausage. Even my landlubber wife was quite happy. I think she got some chicken wings. So there's plenty to eat for those of you who don't eat catfish or don't eat any type of seafood. And as an added bonus, this really good casual grubber place, it's veteran-owned, so you get to support a really good guy who has served our country. So if you're in May, Reddit. Make sure you check out Catfish Hawks. I'm quite happy to say Keenan's Pit Barbecue is in full swing. You'll remember Brian from Meeting Street Barbecue. Tremendous restaurant. Uh, maybe did some things business-wise that he would do differently if he ever gets a brick-and-mortar location again. But he's got all of his uh, meats down pat. Certainly the best brisket I've had this side of Texas and as good as what I've had in Texas and believe me I've been to a place that makes uh, the you know the Texas monthly yearly top 75 or whatever that prestigious list it is so I know what Texas barbecue tastes like and Keenan's pit barbecue can more than compete with it but everything he's got is really good sometimes he does poultry the pork is excellent follow him on Facebook Instagram or Twitter just look up Keenan's pit barbecue like I said you know him from Meeting Street he does catering pop-ups and delivery. We hope to see him again at a live after five. Oh my goodness, please tell me a live after five, which is one of the coolest monthly OTP events. I think it goes from like April to October in downtown Roswell. If there isn't a live after five, Brian uh, plans on being there. You can also reach him at Brian Lee Keaton at gmail.com. If you're anywhere in the Roswell area, he will deliver to you the best barbecue you've perhaps ever had. He is Clearly one of the premier pit masters in all of metropolitan Atlanta. We got more coming up. Hey, yeah, I even visited Ball Ground, Georgia. But please visit two of our sponsors, OffshoreInsiders.com for the best sports books, vetted sports books, and also the premier sports picks in the nation, the best sports handicappers in the world, OffshoreInsiders.com. And for the kids, hey, AbbyD.com. Abby is spelled A-B-B-Y, or you can go directly to the YouTube uh, uh, page, which is at Hey Abby D. Again, that's A-B-B-Y for the best dad jokes in the world. Knee slapping dad jokes. Hey, Abby D .com. Had the great honor of having a socially distant on the deck outside lunch with the legendary Mara Davis at Little Ray. That is a Ford Fry restaurant there in uh, Midtown at the corner of 
Cheshire Bridge in Piedmont. Really good Americanized stuff. Next time I'm going to have to go a little uh, more hungry, but a good place there. And she recommended, though, that I bring food home to from uh, Grana, which is also on Piedmont at 1835 Piedmont Avenue, kind of where I remember about where the old Hong's Hot Dog House is, a place that I really miss, a great grubber place. And uh, Grana was tremendous. By the way, make sure you follow Mara Davis at Mara Davis on Twitter or at Mara Davis 2000 on Instagram. She's also MaraDavis.com MC, social media guru, brand ambassador, and more. But she did send me to Grana and it was a great recommendation. Brought home some pizza for the family, but the ricotta cavatelli was great. I think they make their pasta there. Really good pasta. I would love to try it again. Brought home my wife uh, some stuff, whatever. We brought home uh, to her, I think there was some garlic bread and whatnot, but the entire family liked would visit it again and probably would like to go for some more pasta. So again, Grana on Piedmont Road near Rock Springs. Had a shed a tear as Little Ray was right next to my first office down here in Atlanta when I moved here in 1988, right next door at the Phoenix Office Park. Nobody cares. All right, well, I guess I don't have feelings. Okay, let's head a little bit northwest. The rotisserie shop at 2615 George Busby Parkway in Kennesaw, Georgia. Look, it's rotisserie chicken. It's a pretty simple dish. Nothing all that elegant about it, but look, they do rotisserie chicken as well as you could do rotisserie chicken, basically. At the end of the day, it's still rotisserie chicken, but very good tender. The sides were excellent. I had some corkscrew mac and cheese, some collard greens. If I get in that area again, maybe I won't have to try their own version of poutine, but again, really the poster child of competence. There's only, it's only rotisserie chicken can only taste so good, but nobody does rotisserie better than the rotisserie shop in Kennesaw. Lived in the Atlanta metropolitan area since 1988 and here in Roswell for about the last 18 years, yet just recently went through ball ground for the first time, and we wound up eating at the Burger Bus, which is at 288 Gilmore Ferry Road, really in the heart of ball ground. Uh, it's their, their downtown. Now, we did eat the food in the car because we are in the middle of a plague. Pretty good stuff. Uh, I did check in, though. It looked in the dining room. Kind of a cool atmosphere. The dining room is a refurbished bus. Nice place to hang out. Got the fried green jacket burger with pimento cheese and fried green tomato. Looked a little bit more like a gold jacket to me. Gold jacket, green jacket. Who gives this shit? Now, after eating the green jacket, I'm not going to say they're the masters of burgers, so to speak, and I don't think they should necessarily pop on a list of, you know, the best burgers in all of Georgia or the best hidden gems, but still much better than average and without question a place that I would recommend. Now, when I talked about this place on Instagram, and do you follow me on Instagram at Atlanta Grubber and also on Twitter, got several recommendations for uh, Frankfurt Donor and Meats, just a few doors down from this place, and I know it got high rate on all the various um, crowdsourcing sites. And I even sent a, an inside joke. When I was recommended this, I went to uh, Frankfurt Donors' webpage. Well, they don't really even have a webpage. It's uh, the uh, Facebook page. And I wound up sending it to some people because of an inside joke. And then I was told that it used to be located in Woodstock. And one of the guys I sent it to said he loved the place. He adored the place. And was recommending the potato salad. So this place has really gotten universal praise. It's a butcher, but they also have some sandwiches and looks like they make a lot of different types of sausages. Really impressive looking menu. Apparently a couple of different soups each and every day. So I would like to get back to Ball Ground, Georgia. Definitely try the uh, Frankfurt place. Gibbs Garden is located in Ball Ground. So a nice place to maybe spend a few hours. Rock Solid Brewery is right across the street from these places, uh, these both of the um, Burger Bus and the Frankfurt Donor. So just take a walk and have a couple drinks at a brewery. Mm, beer. Where there's a brewery, there's a way. We'll definitely be back to Ball Ground, Georgia and spend quite a few hours there. Cool Runnings at 5450 Peachtree Parkway and Peachtree Corners. They do have a Norcross mailing address. Barbecue beef ribs or... 
really uh, good, very meaty. They prove that ribs can be excellent, even if not smoked. Some of the best cabbage I've ever had, uh, stuff that you rarely see, like cow foot, oxtail. Been there quite a few times, and when I go, I usually pick up a couple extra dishes. So I've probably had five or six different dishes. Have always been happy. Really good Jamaican restaurant. Cool runnings in Peachtree Corners. So much more to talk about throughout Atlanta on future podcasts. Make sure you do follow us on Twitter or Instagram at Atlanta Grubber. We got a Facebook page as well. Just search for Atlanta Grubber. Remember, our favorite charity is the Star House, starhousefoundation.org. A coach is hope with kids, uh, at-risk kids with homework and test preparation to foster good study habits. The students have a safe place to build relationship with educators and peers. Starhousefoundation.org. Please donate generously.